Hello, this is Clava321, and this is going to be PHP MySQL Tutorial 10, and this is going to be a start of a simplistic blog. Now, I have not made a few tutorials for a while because I've been really busy, and there's already a post on my uh, tutorials blog on how my life has been busy and all that, but I'm going to skip uh, all that. So, today, uh, we're going to first create um, a basic blog in that we are going to have a user and a couple posts. Now this one's not going to go over the uh, the implementation of a login system with the blog, but rather just displaying the posts in the correct format. And this is going to be the start of kind of a few more tutorial tutorials which I will base and implement a few more uh, important concepts of web development into. So first we have a database I already made called tutorials underscore blog. Now I already have the file ready for connecting with that database so that's not a worry. But what I do have to make is a user table so that I can have a username and a posting name to grab from and then I need a post table. So I'm going to create a username table so I'm going to call it users and I'm going to have four fields one of them is going to be the ID, next one's the username, then the next one is the password, and then the last one is going to be the post name. In other words, the public name that would be displayed on um, when somebody views the page. So I'm going to have a password, and I'm going to have my uh, post name. But I'm going to have it like that. And I'm going to make it lowercase just so it's easier to type in. Okay, but now we need to set the types. ID will just usually keep as an integer. And I'm going to change my username to a various character of, of a length of 32. My password is going to be also a various character. I'm going to make it 255 just so it's safe. Or rather 256 um, if we have a longer hash algorithm. Then I'm going to use a various character for the post name again. I'm just going to say 128 and that should be safe. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the auto increment for the ID and the primary index. And I'm also going to change it so the username has to be unique from all the other records. And that's all I need to do for the username table. And what I need to do next is create a table for the posts. So I'm going to say posts and the fields are going to be four. You think that's too few? Well, I'm not going to include too uh, much information. I'm just going to have an ID. Whoops. Uh, yes. I'm going to have an ID. I'm going to have a username. And I'm going to have the content. And the date it was posted. Essentially, that is all most people really care about in terms of what shows on the page and that's where I'm going to leave it at. So we have a date and we can store a date as an integer so I'm just going to have it like that but for the content I will want to have a uh, big text thing so I'm going to say long text here and for the uh, username you think we want to have a various character but we're actually going to use an integer because what we're going to do is relate back to that username table so we can get um, both the username uh, and if the username for example changes in that username table or users table then it will change on all the posts that have the identification that point to that user so now we have the this thing left with the ID we're going to do the usual stuff with that and that's going to be primary and auto increment. We do not need to use unique on the user because one user can post many things. So, we now have that done and we can just save it. So, now we have um, our two main tables here. So, let's just insert some uh, junk data or rather data that will display. So, I'm going to say cloth 321 or rather which. Whoops, that's not what I meant. I meant to go to the table on users. So I'm going to insert my username, which is clawplot321. I'm going to do a SHA1 
of my password, but I'm not going to really type in my real password, I'm just going to type in password like that. And my post name is going to be pop up 321 with a capital K, just for uh, differentiation uh, between the two uh, fields in the database. So now I have that, and as you can see when I browse the user's table, the ID is 1, because it's obviously the first item in the table. So, uh, so I don't want to do that again. Um, anyway, I'm going to go back and insert a, uh, a post. But here, all I have to do is insert a 1 because that matches to the user clop up to 1 in the user's table. And I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to say the content is, let's just say, hello, happy tacos, and she's with with nacho and ranch. I obviously do not think that ranch and nachos go together, but I just think it's kind of funny. So now I'm going to put in this Unix timestamp thing, and that should be good for a post there. And I'm going to put in a second post, and I'm going to say the same thing. Rather, I'm not going to do that just yet because I want a few seconds in between so you can see that the dates are also different. So I'm going to click on that. Okay, something is wrong here. Okay, because I accidentally changed something in that second one, it didn't like that. Uh, don't worry about that. I just have to delete it, and everything's happy. So, I now have this data and a date. And I want to put in my block. So, I've already created a base um, file, which looks like this uh, right here, where, you know, I have the basic... Um, XHTML stuff with the title and um, a CSS file and then I have the basic stuff like here's the title again then the author wrote this and here's the title and then the content and this is just example data and I also uh, put in some things to create some styling for our page um, just so we're not starting from scratch uh, this will be on my website where you can copy and paste and you're welcome to use it however you want but that doesn't mean I suggest it. I suggest you make your own theme to suit your own needs. So because I have this already set up I do not need to uh, go ahead and write all that for you right in front of your face because it's right there. Um, this is about PHP, this is not about HTML. So. I have, this is pretty much what it looks like uh, in terms of what the CSS does to the content. And I am going to take this and go ahead and uh, port over this to my PHP file over here with the blog. So I now have the connection here that I need. And um, also, I'm going to cut pretty much copy and paste in this base here. And I am going to just paste it right after this. Now